We live yet? I think we are. All right. I need a new microphone so bad. What's up, guys? Josh Garcia, what's up? Python's where it's at. Pull up the... Make sure you guys can see everything. Then we'll get better at this. So, for the sake of people that watch these recorded, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started, and then we can continue on. How you guys doing? Friday, big day. Good morning, Zarek. Start course. Meet Python. We've already done that. I think we still have stuff to do with lists. Resume. Aditya, what's up, dude? Welcome. Oh, we got another quiz here. Okay. If you wanted to convert it to a list, you would split it out. Window or Mac OS? This is Windows. What's up? Welcome. I actually like retain this information pretty well. I've actually learned a lot. <laughs> Just doing like learning about the different syntax and like how it's so sensitive to spacing. Alright, we're skipping this question. We're skipping this quiz. This this is the question that trolled us all. I know that you're really starting to love lists. And it's only a matter of time before you attempt to put oh, one no. list inside of another list. And of course, you can do that. A list allows this track too nice. Follow along if you want. So, now, I renamed the stream How to Fail 101 because that you can use this list inside of a list concept I'm just going to embrace the fact that I'm going to goof. So, so it's, it's okay to fail, process. right? Let's take a quick I shouldn't be getting flustered about having bugs and errors and at the same time, you know. So, you've been keeping your work we're just going to call it how to fail 101. It's okay to fail. If you do fail, fail forward, fail fast, fail early. Right? You see how it has rows of weeks? And then one of these columns here, these are the days of the week. You want to see someone struggle while they try to learn something and explain it? This is the stream for you. By lol, hello. I think we got really close to Yeah, no, so we, we finished this with the multiple. And then each time through, it's going to pull that row. Yeah, all right, we finished this. Let's print that out. Kenneth? I think I've uh, looked at Kenneth a little bit. Review and split. All right, yeah, we've done that. Let's build an application. Oh, yeah. So we're building our first shopping application within the terminal here. If you guys want to follow along, there's a link in the description. Feel free to to grab it. It's uh, it's the seven day trial, right? So hopefully we'll get through this in seven days. We've already finished this introducing list, so that'd be fun. You guys got big plans? If you guys do me a favor and click the click the thumbs up on the stream, helps my videos do better. So that would be greatly appreciated. All right, the application. We want to add items now. What's next? Let's get that list created. I'm going to pull over this. As a user, I should be able to add an item to a list. Let's do it. I like that we're using this uh, Kanban methodology already. Out of the gate. We should create so let me explain to you guys what exactly is happening before we move any further. We have a function here. This is called show help. It prints out a message in the console that says what do we need to do or what do we need from the store. These triple Quotations mean that you can write a string on multiple lines. Then we run that function, so it pops up this print. We run a while true loop, which is generally just going to be true. Um, we're going to prompt the user with an input, and we're going to say, all right, if you type done, 
you're going to break the loop and if you type help it's going to reshow the instructions and that that's where we're at right now first like thanks joe appreciate it A new let's continue on list named shopping list let's do that you know how to do that and then after we uh, make that new list we should make a new function we should create Get a new list a function named add to list that declares a parameter named uh, item and then inside the body of that just go ahead and say uh, add the item to the list awesome and then finally let's go in and we'll call that function uh right about here we'll go down here we'll call that function so we'll say uh, call add to list with a new item as uh, an argument All right that makes sense we're gonna come up here create an empty list we'll create a function we'll add the item to the list makes sense right you got this here get ready to pause me and you give those a go one at a time then i'll let all right, create a new list. Um, so we need items. Does he want us to populate this list early? I don't know. Empty list. Okay, so just empty. Create a function to add items. We're doing this underscore notation, I suppose. Uh, and then Actually, let's 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 call this different. We're going to get confused. Let's call this shopping list, and then let's do item dot append. So we're taking this is this is a variable when you define a function, and then you just have to remember what it is going to be when you use it. So shopping list dot append item. Fantastic. How's this guy? How's this going so far? You guys following along? Good. Okay, great. I'm just gonna assume that it's good. This is what happens when you live in Salt Lake City. Hold on. You get people that wake up in the morning and they don't have anywhere to go or anywhere to be. So they end up just walking around. Um, generally, there are people that are, you know, not so, not so, they're not doing so hot in life. Uh, so right now there appears to be a guy at the end of the street just shouting at people passing by. Welcome to Salt Lake City, Utah, where we have a problem with people that don't have homes. Anyways, let's continue this. Let you know before I start the next one if you want to. Literally, you just. Set. But I I've been barked at before. Ready? Hold on, I'm gonna pause for a sec. I, I've been actually barked at. Um, I've just been riding my bike, and there was just a dude on the side of the road just barking at me, like he was chasing cars. All right. Pause me. So how'd you do? Creating an empty list looks like this. You say shopping list equals and hard brackets. All right, and now for the function. Oh, so well, we're actually going to the define same. a new function named add to list, and uh, it declares a parameter named item. So there we are, and there's a colon to get to the body. We're going to add the item to our list, uh, so to oh, add to the, the end function, of the list, yeah. you append, right? So we're going to say shopping list. Sam, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? We're going to pass in that Can you play some Overwatch later? And finally, let's call it. So we will say down here, let's call that add to list. Basically, anything that's come through here. Oh, we need uh, to put in down this far. We're just going to add it to the list. Sounds good. And since we're doing all of our checks go. here, we've got a thing set up where we're pretty much protected from commands making their way through. As long as we are diligent about using break and continue, this will only be proper items. Well, it seems like it's working, but we don't have a way of showing the list just yet. But uh, let's see. Is there something else on the board we can tackle before we get there? As a user, upon adding an item to a list, I should know the total <laughs> length of my list so that I don't go by. Boy, I didn't edit that very good. I don't overbuy is what I want that to say so that I don't Abdullah, how you doing? overbuy. So part Seems like it's pretty early. So that I don't Not a lot of people hitting the stream today. All right, so as a user, upon adding an item to the list, I should know the total length of the list so that you're like, oh, there's 100 list things on this. We don't want that. So uh, let's do that. So let's just put that in the add to list, right? If we Some come guy in here, beat on her van right at an intersection. Right, think? So we'll say notify the yep. user that uh, the item was added. And state the number of items in the list currently. Don't want them to over buy. Over purchase. 
Got it? All right, pause me, go for it. How'd you do? Here's how I did. So I said print, and I said added. Let's do it together. So we're gonna make a print function. We're gonna do added item. What else do we want? And the number of items. Uh, we'd have to count, right? We'd have to we'd have to loop over whatever and then count. Let's see what he does. List has uh, items. Yeah, so we need format. to use format. And we are going to get the number of items uh, by passing it to Lynn. There we go. Can I close them all out? There we go. Awesome, so let's give that a run. We'll say. Yeah, the length. I totally forgot about the length function. That's That would make sense. So this, these brackets here are variables. It's a variable holder and a string uh, for the this. This is perfect. Thanks, man. Say Python shopping list, and uh, I want to pick up some apples. Ah, one items. Eh, common bug. And we'll do bananas. No, no, we can forget about it because we got two items. Awesome. But the items are adding. So I think we've got some tickets to complete, don't you? So uh, I should be able to add items to the list. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's, see, let's see if this is working. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work at all. What do we need to do? We want to we want to add an item. Apple. Added number one. Can you hear him? He's telling people. He's telling people to get in his house. Get inside. There he goes. He's using a Mac. You can't watch this. I'm using a Windows. What are you talking about? And as a user, upon adding an item, we know how many are there now. Awesome. I'm going to type done because I can. Done. Let's knock out those last few issues right after this quick break. Done. And it kills me. All right. So sweet. I mean, it kills me. It like, kills the terminal. You, you guys should see my bloopers, for real, for YouTube. I film okay, the intro like six, first. seven, eight, nine, sometimes ten times. How to fail, yep. It's okay, right? So yesterday I was battling with imposter syndrome, and then today I've just decided it doesn't matter, and I'm just going to do my best to teach you. Because I felt like I needed to hold myself to that upper standard of you know, I should be perfect and everything, but wipe out all of these instructional comments. Let's get rid of all of these. Clean that up a bit. Let's get a little noisy. All right, awesome. So, that feels better. Let's look at what we have left. All right, so we left done here because we want to print the list out in totality when it's done, we want to show the list. And uh, there's this one here too. I want to see the list anytime uh, so I can verify my order. So let's make a new command for that. That sounds good, right? So let's come back over here. First, I'm going to clean this up um, a little bit. I'm going to move this add to list What down made below me feel that way? That. Um, and typically, it's called imposter what syndrome. In between functions, you'll see I'm pretty aware of it. Is you leave two spaces. So there we go. So we left that two spaces. Okay, it, it, the, the dilemma is I'm making videos yeah, on right. YouTube to help people. There we go. All right. So at the same time, I sometimes don't feel qualified to, to do that. A new function that's named show list. So let's. So I was really say. struggling with that yesterday. Define a function. Name. How do you install Python on Visual Studio? You have to install Python in general. Go to. Python, or just Google Python download, download it for your system, and then you have Python automatically in the terminal. So to, to grab the terminal, you just pull it up from the bottom. And show list that prints all the items. You thought I was making a Trello? Sounds good, right? No, that's, this, that's right? his thing. You can loop through all of them and print them We're out. doing Kanban yeah. together, right. so awesome. you can... How'd it go? I wish he would kind of dive into like what that is exactly, but it's fine. Clear the console. We want to we want to print all the items in the list. So let's take this continue out and then copy paste. I'm just doing this my own way. Let's make a function called show list. 
and at that point we would just print the shopping list or he probably wants to like iterate over it so we'll write a for in loop I guess so let's do that here That should work, I think. Put the continue back. Continue back. Next level noob, what's up, dude? Have you guys ever heard the phrase like, the more I learn, the less I understand? That's how I feel. So. My code has been rated 10, 10. 10 out of 10, guys. I'm beautiful. I don't know why we're not in the terminal, though. Bro, I'm so good at this already. <laughs> we're working through it together. Yeah, it's redundant, but I'm not sure how it functions. So I'm going to give it a shot and see if we break it. Beginner. Oh, I, I should probably add to the string. Oh, first we need to add. Yeah, okay. Congratulations, it now works. I think you guys can see it. Yeah, it's just like a go to the start of the loop. Well, yeah, we want to go back to the start of the loop if we type help or show. I don't want to exit it. All right, it works. Sweet. Oh, let's see done. if we right. if we beat we him to it. We are so close to done. Now we need to show the list on completion. So what we can do is when this while loop is over, while this while true, when this is over, we can just call it. We will call show. Awesome. Let's give that a run. Let's say. How are you guys doing today? You guys got big plans? You gonna go see a movie tonight? I saw Mission Impossible last night. It's actually three hours long, but I, forgot to but I had to go to the bathroom for like 70% of the movie, so I felt like it was taking away from some of my enjoyment. So add, enter, show, and most objects for that matter can make use of the lin command. So Pythonic. And then we have our show list, and lists are iterable, so we can loop through them with a for item in list. We take a single prompt, and since it can be an item or a command, we have made the prompt generic. A little greater than sign. Feels kind of good. And then we just check each of our commands. So here's the flow. If the user is done, break out of the while loop. We are done with this while loop. We don't want anything more to do with break out of it. Otherwise, if we're looking for help, show it. Oh, yeah. If we type in done, we should probably print the list, right? That would make sense. All right, let's do it one more time. Yo, what's up, dude? How you guys doing? What's the speed of the video? It's like 1.7, 1.5-ish, something like that. Okay, sweet. I didn't do it the pretty way. We just printed it out in a list, but it's whatever. It works. I'll take it. Sweet. Hey, what's up? Let's continue. 
and remember to control the flow. And if there is anything at all that is still confusing you, feel free to rewind it, watch it again. I think we just about finished with anything the list in Python. Awesome job. Enjoy the talk party. Continue. Do we get another video? You did it. You've got another Python course under your belt. Awesome job picking up a new data type and using it to your advantage. I bet you're going to start to get more ideas about what you can build. The more you learn, the worse the app daydreaming becomes. Keep till next time. See you real soon. I tried to film a video last night three times, and it didn't work. So now I have to make two videos today. It's going to be good. Tyler, how you guys doing? Going to a barbecue, having some friends over, no plans today other than coding. Sick. I have a lot to do today. Okay, I got it. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Craig Dennis. Am I going to get an email saying congratulations? Probably. Here's a multi-dimensional array, array, or uh, group. Can I loop through each group and output the members together with an A? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like doing this. I kind of want to go to the next section. I'll, I'll, I'll tackle this when I need to. All right, I should probably just do it. I'm getting impatient. Why did I decide to learn Python? That's what the vote came out to be. Also, I want to learn it for uh, Raspberry Pis mainly. Have any other tech hobbies? I mean, like film. Film and editing is pretty technical. I like visual effects. Visual effects is actually really technical. Prasna, what's up? Hello. My face is blocking the code. That would make sense, right? Good call. All right, so we're looping over the group. So for group and musical groups, and then we want to write if uh, and I'll put the members MCA. All right, so we just want to loop over this and like extend it. Print the joined nested lip. Yeah, I get it. I don't know if this will work. We just wanna we wanna loop over each one and add them together. So we should probably make a new one. Let's make a new array. And then push those in. We should change this to be member. Yeah, we could just add plus to the list. That's easy. If you're new to coding, learning Python on Udemy? Hey, me too. I'll make one large list. I mean, that's fine. I know that they want me to like put them together, but we should extend. I don't know what this will do, if anything. I should join them together. Yeah, I forgot you can join. All 
All right, killing shopping list. Unexpected indent. Now everything needs to be re-indented. See, so so everyone's telling me what to do, and then like, I'm just gonna revert back to what I was doing so that I can learn it. So that I can figure out what I'm doing. That's not going to work. Nope, doesn't work. My face is over the code still. What's up, Patrick? Clear. No, I want to exit out of Python. Please let me exit out of Python. Okay. So we're looping over. We want four member and mu musical groups. So we want like four group. Maybe that makes sense. Four group and musical groups. So these are the different lists inside of the list. And then we want the one group. Hmm. I think we'll just append instead. That was the wrong account. It's all, it's all good. Oh yeah, you're you're right. That makes sense. Back up some. Nope, still doesn't work. Now I'm just copying the original list. All right. Let me think it through for a second. List has no join member. I can just take a quit. Okay, that'll work. I'm about to skip this. It's getting pretty frustrating. Yeah, I'm looking at this. So, everyone's like, don't you need to do this? What about this? What about that? So I'm going to ignore chat for about five minutes.
I'm just copying it. Okay. It looks like they are separated with a comma. Oh yeah, I don't need to interact. Okay. Act like I'm in an interview and chat is my interview. I mean, it looks like it. I just didn't add a space behind every every list member. So they want a comma space as a separator. So what I need to do, now that I have it in list form, I would probably just loop over it, <laughs> loop over it again, because that's, and then modify the array. Um, the task is to print each row like a sentence. I don't know. Maybe. Pretty satisfied with what I have so far. You ever been in the close enough category? Otherwise, I'm going to sit here for the next 30 minutes of the stream and struggle bus. Unless one of you guys want to copy and paste it. I'm going to copy and paste the answer, and then I'll do it, and then we can reverse engineer it. Uh, I just, I'm just having a brain freeze with all the different methods that we learn. There's like extend, append, join. I think there's some other thing that we're using. So uh, that was pretty close. Yeah, so you're doing another
Jeffrey Smith is a real OG here. For a group and musical group. Did I pay for this course? I mean, this is uh, Team Treehouse, so the whole thing is like, it's like a monthly thing, and then instead. So for group and musical group, print, join group. That's not, it's not a fan. like an extra space or something invalid character I don't there we go oh that would make sense we did it that's some weird formatting. I was close. So I was just doing extend. So print, you can do, you're printing a string and then you're just joining the member onto it. I mean, that makes sense, right? You want to see groups that are trios. All right. Let's extend this out with another if loop here. See if this bad boy works. And that's what we got going. I think I need to take this other print out for a moment. All right, we got it. We did it. Thanks, 46 people, for sticking sticking with me through that, man. That was a doozy. You guys should have seen you should have seen that like the full interview when my camera overheated for real. Everyone thinks I just cut it because I was so embarrassed, but it actually overheated. We did it. I have an application badge. Yay teamwork. How long have we been do how long have we been streaming this? Forty one minutes. We'll get better as time goes on. 
Introducing lists. I feel like we just did this. Yeah, we did, but we skipped this. These multiple choice questions. Is, if programming is this fun, count me in. <laughs> Let's see. You know, like, you know, in, in class, in math class, you'd get a word problem? Those were like my, my enemy, and that's literally what programming is. Java Web Services? Yeah, dude, let's do it, for sure. Um, if you had a list and you wanted to turn it into a string, all right, so this is the question that bamboozled you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and let, let you guys answer. Let's just get a little vote going. You guys tell me what to pick, because we tried every single answer here, and nothing was right. Next level noob says C. Yeah, well, now we know it's C. Have I paid for this course? Uh, the course itself isn't paid, but it's like a... You pay a monthly fee, and then you get access to all of the courses. So eventually we'll get to Django. That's going to take like six months, but we'll get there. Or maybe we'll just skip some stuff. All right, next level news has C. Huh, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Finally, all right. Now we're a hundred percent completed. We have done it. We we are finished with lists. Congratulations to everybody in the chat and myself. I don't know why this was so difficult for me to understand. I'm going to have to think about that. How much time do I spend on learning code every day? I code, I can code JavaScript and React, like no problem, or like PHP, but like Clearly, Python is giving me some trouble. Trouble. All right, so we finished. We finished the the lists. Now we get to go to collections. So I'm assuming this is going to be objects. Four hours long. Holy guacamole! What do we got? So this was three hours. Well, actually, I don't know how how much that was. Eventually, we get down here to testing. Then we'll go to Django. I don't know if I'm going to actually start this course. Let's just see what's in it. Let's review lists, create lists, growing lists, combining. All right, so the first section is literally just review. Tuples. This looks pretty fun. Yeah, so we'll definitely do this, but I think as far as like the learn learning track goes, I think we're good for now. And then the rest of the stream, we can hang out and then we can talk business. We can we can talk about whatever. So that was good. We finished it. That took us, I don't know, a few days, two days to finish three hour course. So you guys got like big plans or anything? What are you guys doing this weekend? My hair is like next level bad, but I, it was fine, it's whatever. You're watching Winnie the Pooh tonight? How much time you spend on learning code or code for project every day without burning yourself out? The problem with burning yourself out is it's a mindset. You can still be burnt out and you can still do stuff. Like not, I don't necessarily want to make a video every single day on YouTube, but I do it anyways. I don't necessarily want to go to the gym every day, but I do it anyways. 
Got to push through that burnout. You can call it burnout. It's just like a buzzword, right? It just really means, what it really means is that you're tired of doing the same thing over and over. So <laughs> that's part of the grind. That's the process. You're starting today with Python. Nice, dude. Catch up so that we can all do it together next week. We should take a vote for today's video. We should just do a, a live stream vote. How do I cope with imposter syndrome and pressure from others to do something else? Are you trolling me? It's on your to-do list. You want to stream learning a language? Which one? What? Can you apply with HTML and CSS and JS skills only? You can apply with HTML and CSS only. I'm not, I mean, no one's stopping you from applying. Um, it was Ruby on Rails, and it was the worst thing ever. Yeah, I mean, it's on my board, so this is the board here is what we're looking at. The collection section? Yeah, probably for sure. I'm going to create a vote. We'll take a vote on uh, today's video. Creating straw poll. Am I going to be doing these videos every day? Yes, sir. So tomorrow we'll start with collections. Bright and early Saturday morning. No one's going to be there because everyone's going to be sleeping in, but it'll be all right. Hopefully it was helpful. Today's video... Melissa's going on a road trip to Santa Maria, California. I remember when I had time to do things. Pepperidge Farm remembers. No, oh, that's not what I want. Uh, let's see, the Yoma Tech Lead Commission. No, I didn't see that. Well, they all know each other. They're all friends in... They're all friends in real life, so they just boost each other up. I want to go to the lake. I'd like to do something. Like my content, keep it up. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Do I recommend going to a meetup as a noob? Of course. Of course go to the meetup. 100% dude social skills everything like you don't have to know what they're talking about to go to a meetup you can just ask a lot of questions advice to go with Django or just make things in just Python I mean uh, how long have I been live about, about 45 minutes I would go with Django but my goal personally is to go with Raspberry Pis my goal is to get to that Raspberry Pi level and then that machine learning level or automation like selenium web driver automation where you can make a bunch of web bots that's my goal. I don't necessarily care so much for the web application portion of it. Do I recommend Nootropics? Um, 
It depends. Nothing that messes with serotonin or dopamine. So I'm talking specifically about like Ritalin, those things. Things that you get to prescribed if you get diagnosed with ADHD. You could try maybe like a Drafenil or just caffeine, theanine, uh, some sort of racetam if you want. How was my first web dev job? I mean, it was not good. It was Ruby on Rails. I didn't know Ruby on Rails. It was, it was the worst. I don't like Ruby. Like Ruby on Rails gives me PTSD to this day because it was such a horrible experience of trying to figure out. Like, because I'm the type of person to ask a lot of questions, so uh, Ruby on Rails has a lot of magic. So you have to take Adderall for your ADHD. I'm pretty sure I have ADHD, but I just meditate instead because I don't like I don't like stuff messing with my hormones, especially anything that has to do with like the pleasure center of the brain, which is super easy to create addictions. Then you have to deal with with withdrawals. And that's not fun. What time exactly will I stream tomorrow? I never know, dude. I gotta hit. I gotta hit all the people of everywhere, right? So right now, I'm assuming people in Europe or people at home in the United States in the morning. But most people are at work right now. I have to go to work too. Um, Some people need it, right? Some people, like, maybe they actually need it, but it has a diminishing return, so. You have, a, you have an awkward day? Yeah. Patrick knows. 5 p.m. in Egypt, all right. So that's why I'd like to maybe stream later in the day, but who's going who's gonna to spend their Saturday watching someone code, you know? But I'm going to do it anyways for consistency and embracing the process. Um, me. All right, noob. I mean, you know all the answers. Which country in Europe has the best salaries in programming? Mmm... Probably Germany. Germany is like the America of the EU. You make more money there, and there's like lower taxes and cheaper stuff you can buy. Everything else has ridiculous taxes, and so it doesn't even matter what salary you make. <laughs> Germany, if you had to pick one. What's my day like at my job? I Skype people a lot, and then I work with C Sharp files to modify some front end stuff and communicate with the CEO. It's a small company, it's not a startup, but it's a small, like, sole proprietorship company. Have a stand up. I'm at work, so I like hearing you in the background. Well, I've been told that I have a relaxing voice because I sound like I'm 15. Sometimes my voice still squeaks, and I'm almost 30. Feels good. I could probably get away. If I could learn how to sing, I could probably sing like Justin Bieber or something. All right, here we go. Here are the today's video ideas. I'm going to pick up Python so fast, maybe. Beginner or first job, what salary should you expect? I'm going to go with the United States salary because I don't know what you make in Egypt. I'm going to say 45 to 60. There, go vote. Go vote on today's video. The Afro Mike. Hello, what's up, guys? Uh, what? Okay, let me help you out. What? What is the code setup? The code setup is like everything that I use: Visual Studio Code. Do I use a GitHub UI? Like, 
my local setup. I should probably rename that, but it's too late. I can't do it. It's already been posted. Pretty good. About to go to the gym, get some upper body going. Um, it's like PC setup for everything that I use. So, so Craig Dennis sent me a message. He said, "Dot dot 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 join. You are nailing it." I think he, I think he's watching the stream. I mean, he's obviously not watching the stream, but like, he's definitely trolling me because I was having some trouble with that join. <laughs> you guys want to see the code setup, like how I run everything on my computers in relation to code? That's what code setup is. Uh, Wix, so Wix or Squarespace. Get that Anaconda Python distro. I, I have Anaconda, but I'm just not using it. I might use it for the local environments. I still have to make the video that I should have made yesterday, but my camera was on manual focus and so I literally went from like super ultra 4k to like potato quality and then since I don't have a flip out screen on my Sony I can't see if I'm in focus and it's so bad it's so annoying so I spend 10 minutes filming it and then I hope that I'm in focus and I plug it in and I review the foot footage and then it's like I wanted to just throw my camera out the window because I did it three different times That's, a, that's one of the Patreon perks, is that I make an outtake reel where you can see what YouTube is really like. You saw that I'm going to upgrade the PC? Well, I am. I haven't really talked about it, but since we're here, pretty much um, someone donated some PC parts. Um, an anonymous person reached out to me and asked if they could send me something and I was like uh, alright as long as it's not a bomb so I gave him an address and then he sent me a FedEx box I'll show you and so I was afraid to open it for reasons right um, but then I did so let me show you what was gifted to me by an anonymous viewer um, I was gonna make a whole video about it it's on my Instagram but here. We have this Kraken RGB liquid cooler. Because mainly I need I need a better computer to render videos. And then I got this thing. And then but wait. So this is a 1950X. And then I don't have bubble wrap, so this is just going to stay in paper. Let me mute my microphone while I undo this. So this is a 1080. I already have a 1080, so I'm going to be running some 10, 1080 uh, SLI. And uh, so basically, yesterday I spent I spent some money to buy some RAM. That's really all I need, and a new case and an SLI bridge since I don't have anything. Um, but yeah, so this didn't come in a box or anything. So yeah, I'm going to put it back in the paper. D de static myself real quick.
So um, basically, the new RAM, uh, how much RAM am I putting? I, I bought 64 gigs RGB Corsair, 3600 megahertz. It was $995 for 64 gigabytes of RAM. And then I bought, then I bought uh, a case, a Corsair case, um, an SLI bridge, and what else did I get? I got one other thing. Oh, I had to do, uh, get a new power supply unit. Because mine is old, and I don't have cords to plug into both cards. So, T uh, 1080 SLI is like 5 10% faster than a single 1080 Ti. Um, it depends on the game that you're using. I've actually had a 1080 Ti before, and then it died. So I sent the whole pre-built computer back. It's actually a little bit more. It's closer to like 20 to 25%. If you look at 1080 Ti running on 4K games, there's a huge difference. Anyway, so I think that was a pretty sweet thing to happen this week. So I'll be, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been like adding special effects on stuff. Now I can do that. Like before I have to, like I add special effects, I want to preview it to see if it looks good, but I couldn't do that with the computer that I have now. I mean, I can to a certain extent, but it looks choppy, but prepare for like Marvel Avengers special effects while you learn about code. Um, you spoke with the recruiter. You said you'd like to do front end, but it be exposed to back end. She said the position doesn't allow exposure for back end. They're strictly looking for front. Okay, so this is the thing. You don't say that. You 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 tell them what they want to hear because you're going to end up doing both. Can I can I spend fifteen dollars so that it doesn't so that it doesn't trigger you? No, nah, I'm going to keep it. You just tell them what they want to hear because you're going to end up doing front end, back end, a little bit of DevOps. Like, you're probably going to end up doing it anyway. So, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm glad that this phallic looking microphone excites you. It's actually not for this. It's for another microphone that someone sent me as like a sponsorship, but the microphone was terrible. It sounded like I was in a wind tunnel and it was just like echo, echo, echo. It was terrible. And they were like, where's the video? And I was like, I'm not even going to make a review. There's no way I could ever recommend this. So then I just, it was bad. Like, how could you sell this thing to people? Telling them what they want to hear doesn't mean that you're not being truthful. You're literally just telling them that what they want to hear. Make a video about what are good things to do on your first week on a new job. You have no plan at all and it's giving you anxiety. I mean, you got to go meet everybody and see what they're about. Um, I would say like 80% of the job is communicating with coworkers, 20% is coding. Lots of people can code, but you need to be able to communicate. Do I have any... Code bases that I recommend that you dig through. Hmm. Not really. I, I would say maybe find like a complete. Well, yeah, I don't really know. I'm pretty new to it, so I'm just learning it. What car am I driving? I have a Nissan Juke. A good portion of Python is written in Python. Yeah, just just grab some built-in stuff. You have a Toyota Camry. 
Because my, my girlfriend has a Toyota Corolla. That thing just doesn't die. It just goes forever, and she gets uh, such great gas mileage. I'd really like to get a motorcycle. I, I, am, I am this close to going down to the BMW dealership and buying a nice enduro bike. Which topic is winning? Um, we're tied for code setup and freelance jobs. Let me repost it. Here, go vote. Go vote on this. We got 21 votes right now. We're tied for code setup and freelance jobs. Okay, so code setup is now winning. I think we've gotten up to 105 people before, which is crazy to me. Code setup is still winning. Setup is 42%. Mm, no. It, we'll just watch it. We'll just watch it live. There. Darth Trader, what's up? So, Code Setup is still winning. The next video that you guys will see will be um, re Resume Review Saturday, and then What's the Trick Sunday, and then the next video will be on Monday. Alright, so we're tied again for applying to freelance job and my code setup, so everything I use. Freelance jobs is kind of more important topic. It depends on the person. What time do I wake up? I woke up at 4.55 today. Dude, go freelance. We got to do what the vote says. You can't just be like telling me what to do. If you want to do it, then you have to vote for it. Come on, my dudes. What are you doing? Can we just, we need a tiebreaker. Someone, someone break the tie. All right, well first let's just put a, let's put a timer on it. And then we'll run the timer and then we'll stop it whenever it wins. Let's use a stereotypical bomb timer. Two minutes. All right, here we go. Code setup, though. Get GUI or command line? 100% command line because the GUIs are specific to the. I should probably start it. Discord, which channel? Pop quiz, hotshot. VS Code, Chrome, what else? I have a bunch of bookmarks that I use to like. When I, like obviously we can talk about the software, but we can talk about all the resources that I use to like cheat basically cheat real quick. We could also talk about like pair coding software, um, cloud hosted IDEs for sharing. So code setup is what you guys want. 
Okay. We have one minute left. Box stack? No. You voted for freelance, but the setup sounds better. VS Code has built-in shared sessions. I think it does. Paired bracket colorizer? Why haven't I had this installed already? Well, that's loud. It's just going to keep going. Pixbay, Unsplash, Pixels. Any resources out there for pair group coding training outside of paid venue? Um, I mean, you have to find someone to pair pair up with that's the main thing vs live share so that's what it's called how does it work real time collaborative environment 1.2456565 oh you can share audio too How many people can join this? Thanks for checking out your courses. Craig, you get, we keep getting emails, man. I, I know they're automated, but that, that one with the... This one was tough. I don't know why this took me so long to finish. You guys don't know Craig Dennis. He's the actual videos that we were watching for here. In this court, this is this is Craig. He's in the chat. Everybody, give a wave emoji for Craig. How hard is collections? How important is collections going to be? What do you think the most important part of Python is to remember 100%? Like. I should focus on it real, really, uh, you know. A Patreon supporter to pair code with me. Yeah, that'd be fun. We could do it together. But it, they'd have to be available for, you know. I'm going to write that down. That's a pretty good idea. But first, let me not drop my 1080. Now there's like five fire trucks outside at 9 a.m. Absolutely insane. So how does this work? They're just like a live share button. How's it work? In the bottom bar, oh, downloading dependencies. Makes sense. But yeah, Craig, what do you think like the most important portion of these courses are to like really focus on? I think most people are saying that it's like collections. I think collections are like 
JavaScript objects. I don't I don't know if I remember correctly 100% or not. What would you recommend to do with Python after doing the basic stuff? Classes. Oh, I have to sign into Visual Studio Live. Okay, we'll do that at a different time. That's pretty cool, though. Object oriented program. Object, okay. Cool. You can use your GitHub account for VS Share. Sweet. I just don't want to like pull up all the info while I'm streaming, so we'll do it. I'll set it up before, and then we'll we'll find someone to to join in. What do you think some practical uses are for for Python, Craig? I'm like super interested in Raspberry Pi stuff and like Selenium web driver stuff. I think it's really cool when you can write a program that like automates your browser and it simulates clicks and all that stuff. I really like it for automation, I guess. Uh, what do you what do you use it for? One hour special on installing Python. Automated trading sounds cool. Hey, one thing, Craig, that I noticed is that we're using the Trello board as like Kanban to move left to right, but you didn't really like explain exactly like the purpose of it. Is that meant to be connected from another series? Because I think it'd be cool to have like just a little section that explains like, all right, this is my Kanban board this is what you use at work type deal oh you have a selenium web driver that's cool now we have to look at the the courses Library, Python. Practice writing loops. Data visualization, that sounds cool. Oh, you did that in Python Basics. Okay, yeah, so we didn't do Python. We didn't start with Python Basics. We started with Learn Python. That's the track that we did. So this, I guess it skips that portion of it, which explains why some things are out of context, like the sum the sum function, when you add that in there, I was just like, okay, so this exists, I accept it. I, I figured you probably mentioned it somewhere earlier, but we just didn't. We started with this, like we took a vote in the stream and then everyone voted for learn Python. So we figured that would cover from start to, to finish. I didn't know that Python basics was like an actual prerequisite for it. So that's good to know. Web scraping Python course. I saw that down here in like the coming soon. I think that's pretty sweet. Yeah, here comes out August 2018. Are you guys going to do anything with uh, like uh, Raspberry Pis or um, launching a NumPy course? That's cool. I think 3D printing would be cool. I know that's kind of the hardware limitations there. Are, it's not accessible for everybody, but I think 3D printing tutorials would be awesome. Because then you could print something out, slap a Raspberry Pi on it, and, and then automate it. Where can you find the courses that Craig is talking about? So it's all in the tracks. Come over here to the tracks.
when it, when it loads. Uh, beginning Python track. Yeah, sure. Double underscore character. Okay. Oh, general purpose programming. All right, okay. I have some experience with with Python, but I've never done it from scratch. I always jump into some like something in the middle and then I try to like reverse engineer stuff and figure out what's going on. I feel like I just retain information better than starting from like complete scratch. Running scripts, Python shell, syntax errors yet. Yeah, so this would be really good. Types and branching. Use an if comparisons. I think a lot of people here are familiar with JavaScript, so it's not, I mean, some of this is not too far. Um, if using Team Treehouse, are all the courses, yeah, everything is included. So it's the monthly it's the monthly cost of Team Treehouse, and then everything everything in here is included. Uh, the tech degree is different though, because then you're you're writing projects or you're making projects, and they're graded, and you have to take a test, and that's designed to be like in your professional portfolio. But the other monthly option is the tracks. But if you if you really want to like go down the tech degree path, we can look at that. Um, these are all the tech degrees, so like these are kind of designed to be projects for your portfolio that you use when you apply to jobs. And then, um, so if Craig, I, yeah, if if I'm not correct in saying that, just correct me. Yeah, so you start a professional portfolio. You can do the free trial if you want. So if you're interested in the tech degree, check out the trial. I've done the basics of Python on, on Udemy a while back. And it was just like, it was going over the things that were in the beginning Python. So like, that's why it wasn't like, it wasn't too bad, but yeah. All right, guys, a couple more minutes and I have to go get some work done. Craig, thanks for hanging out. I know we're kind of memeing. We're kind of memeing about you, but I think that you have some quality stuff. I mean, it's obviously like, it was tough enough to make me like obviously flustered about why I couldn't do it, but it was easy enough so that I could eventually solve it. Yeah. But uh, one, one comment about the quizzes, some of the wording on one of those quizzes was a little strange. We, we picked like everything and we were always wrong, but it was good. I really enjoyed the content so far. If you guys enjoy it, let them know. Have I ever played Dungeons and Dragons? No. Okay. 
Yeah, this ha it was actually yesterday. I, I, I skipped it because I clicked like every single option because it's just, maybe it was just me. To you, it might seem like, well, this is the obvious answer because you're the wizard. So I hope you guys, I hope this helped you guys. We'll do another, I have to do two videos today. So the winner was the code setup. You guys want to see my code setup and how I have everything set up locally so that you can do this. Uh, we might even talk about some some anaconda, which is like, you know. Anyways, all right, guys, I gotta I gotta head out. So, see you guys later.